guys what's going on my name is Louis and god bless every single one of you today is september 13 2023 and welcome to the grand supreme news channel all right guys so we have some breaking news updates some very important information coming out if you can please share the video now it says here us and britain threaten gods and demons let's stop here for a second this is coming out from the sleeping giant in britain now, guys, in the Old Testament, all right, uh, wives used to call their husband, my Lord. Now, this is why the Bible says that Jesus is king of all kings, because back then, uh, they even call uh, leaders king or my Lord or my king. Um, so this is why Jesus is the king of all kings. Uh, the Lord is the Lord of all lords. So at the very end, um, you know, once the world, everything's fulfilled, that's it. God is the Alpha, the Omega, the first, the last, the beginning, and the end. That's it. Jesus is the, uh, the king of all kings. This is why they have a lowercase g, gods, which mean they are not the true living God, the creator of the heaven and the earth. All right, so the U.S. and Britain threaten God, gods and demons. So you mean to tell me that the sleeping giants are Angels? Angels? Sleeping Giants and all them are talking about the abomination. So if the Sleeping Giant talks about abomination, then uh, what do you call that? Because abomination are evil demon stuff. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Kim, to Vlad, he said this, man, I will support your holy war with the West. We will be together in the fight against imperialism. That's what Kim said. I got your back, Vlad, in this holy war. Now, I do believe this is biblical war, and I've been saying it many times. You guys heard me say biblical war because it is biblical. These are nation against nations. All right, so we're going to see what's going on here. I'm going to skip my famous intro. I know many of you love it. Uh, I'm kidding, guys. <laughs> so uh, let's see what's going on here. After this, I'm going to have to go uh, take my family to church. Uh, we have a Bible study going on today, and I will be back later on tonight. All right, so I don't know why they have the capital G. So again, gods and demons threaten the USA, Britain, and other Western country after the deal of strategic importance between the bear leader and Mr. Kim after marathon negotiation. The first information about the defense agreement be uh, between uh, the bear in North K begins to leak. So the sleeping giant didn't sleep good at night. Those in the spotlight were not sleeping peacefully at night. They don't like to see the bear and Kim, uh, North K, working together. Negotiation between the delegation of the Bear Federation and North K in an expanded form lasted about an hour and a half and then the heads of the two states spoke face to face for about two hours a total of five hours were spent today by north k leader uh with the bear leader all right so again it didn't take that long it was a quick one and yeah, Kim, he saw some good stuff there. He's like, hey, I want this, I want that. Ooh, can I have that one? So they're going to work together when it comes to transferring certain things. So the Bear delegation to the negotiation included the Bear Defense Minister, Sergi, um, and Foreign Minister. Uh, again, you have, I'm not going to mention their names. So you got a lot of powerful people here, all these powerful people. Judging by the toast made at the joint dinner, the two leaders agreed on everything. Mr. Kim said, I propose to raise a glass to the health of the respected bear leader of the Bear Federation for new victories of great bear for the continuous development of the bear-Korean friendship. Look at that. 
Mr. Cam is giving a toast. Together, we will take out the sleeping giant. Mm. I know people are laughing right now. It ain't gonna happen. Yeah, um, well, let me tell you a little thing about scriptures. A land that once stood for God is now an abomination and is mocking God's son and is mocking God. Now the Bible, and by the way, is worshiping idols. By the way, uh, scriptures talk about lands that walk away from God, see harsh punishment. So sleeping giants, stop with your uh, pride. Stop with your pride. Because the one that caused the shot, it's not the sleeping giant, it's God. So it says here, Kim said, we will fight the holy battle against imperialism together. Bilateral talks between the bear leader and North K leader began today at this region in Eastern Bear Country, the Bear News Agency reported. According to the official, the Bear News Agency, the talks are being held in negotiation room of the Cosmodrome in the presence of delegation from the two countries. While it is clarified that the Bear Minister of Defense is also participating in the talks. And Mr. Kim told the Bear leader, that the bear is waging a holy war with the West and that the two countries will fight imperialism together. The bear is waging a holy battle to protect its sovereignty and its security against uh, hegemonic powers, Kim told the bear leader. Kim is coming out strong in this one here. So far, what he's saying is legit. The sleeping giants are not angels. The sleeping giants are not saints. They are no longer a one nation under God. They used to, but again, you guys have seen the abomination. It's all being shared out there. I mean, don't you see? Uh, people's gonna be like, well, that's them, but it's not us. Well, look, even a church are empty. Even a church are empty. I mean, it. It goes to tell you that not too many people are reading scriptures. If that was the case, God will not allow these evil wicked to take control of the sleeping giant. We will always support the decision of the bear leader and the bear leadership. And we will be together in a fight against imper uh, imperialism. Now, the North K has always supported and supports all decision of the bear leader and the bear gov. He recalled that the SU played an important role in building North K independence, cooperation, and friendship between the two countries have deep roots, and today relations with the Bear are North K capital first priority. So the North K leader also expressed confidence that the Bear Army will win the biblical war in Crane. I believe so too. I believe so too. And look, guys, it's not because I'm against the sleeping giant. You know, I was born in the sleeping giant. I was raised in an island called Puerto Rico and for many years. And then I came back to the States. Um, but the thing is, this sleeping giant has, has changed so fast, so quickly in the blink of an eye, just like that. I remember that uh, sleeping giant made, made a lot of sense back then. Now, everything's so confused. What's two plus two, Lewis? Four. Wong is 80. All right, so I'm, I am deeply convinced that the Herrick army of the bear and the people will bilaterally uh, inherit the tradition of victory, uh, will confidently demonstrate uh, outstanding virtues and honor on the front of biblical war uh, in building a strong state. You will certainly win a great victory in the holy struggle to punish the great evil that claims uh, hegemony. I truly apologize about the word, but here's the thing. Uh, Kim should not be saying anything too, because again, what he's doing in North K, uh, having those people just watch two station channel and it's all about him. They're worshiping Kim like, like he's some kind of God. So uh, again, he needs to remove the speck out of his own eyes too. So, like, again, all nations are messed up, 
all right so at the very end the people need to start reading scriptures and by the way he's putting those uh even young ones in prisons we're talking about months old he's he then said i want to make a toast okay we're gonna skip that too many toasts Now the bear leader said, North K will acquire satellites. There you go. And now they have the satellites. Before the talks began, the bear leader promised to help North K build satellites and gave Kim a tour of the bear state of the, air, of the art space launch facility. When reporters asked if the bear would keep Kim build satellite, the bear leader said, that's why we came here. The leader of the blah, 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 of North K shows great interest in rocket engineering. They are also trying to develop their space program. According to some sources, the bear is ready to train and send uh, a Korean astronaut into space. Ask whether he would discuss military issues with Kim. The bear leader said they would discuss all issues nice to see you the bear leader said during a roughly 40 second handshake with kim this is our news space uh what spaceport in turn the bear leader noted that he was glad to see the head of north k in the bear federation and said that kim after visiting this region will go to Kons Lysk. Uh, where he will visit defense operation on the military industrial complex. Now, Mr. Vlad told reporters that Kim would also visit this region where there will be a special unit for the Ministry of Defense. The head of North K will visit the Far Eastern Federal University and its laboratory, which in particular deal with marine, by, um, a marine, excuse me, guys, biology. Now, the bear leader also congratulated Kim on his 75th anniversary of founding of North K in 1948. All right. A lot of information coming out in this article. Through an interpreter, Mr. Kim thanked the bear leader for the invitation and for the warm welcome. He then wrote in the guest book in Korean, The Glory of the Bear, which gave birth to the first conquerors of space will be immortal. Uh, yeah, the sleeping giant will not like that. The sleeping giant's like, we were the first ones. Agreements for millions of shells. End of the bear sanctions on North K. According to reports, North K will supply the bear with old home. Oh, man, some very powerful stuff that can be used in the UKR war and in return will receive modern technology for the construction of submarines and nuclear missiles. Look out. In case anyone doesn't know, North K has one of the most powerful artillery in the world. By building its own nuclear missile shield, North K can easily get rid of both its surplus ammunition and tens of millions of shells. Therefore, it makes a lot of sense to use them in UKR. First, the bear will get shells of all calibers for artillery of all types, which are consumed daily in the military zone of UKR. Second, an artillery and MLRS system. Additionally, on the sidelines of the meeting, the bear foreign minister, Sergi, made it clear that the bear intends to withdraw from the Sanks regime against North K. This thing is looking really good now. Uh, negotiation is looking really good. And a sleeping giant. You know what they're saying? Sanctions are coming. The sanctions against North K were passed in a completely different environment. When the last resolution was passed, uh, we said uh, very firmly that there would be no more sanks. 
Once again, the West deceived us and the Red Dragon and planted elements of its strategic forces in South K. So North K and I are preparing new resolution. The Bear North K cooperation could expand beyond conventional arms deals and food slash energy aid to include advanced technology for satellites, nuclear submarines, and ballistic missile. Once again, North K Capital can offer munition, multiple missile launch system, and short range, uh, all of which will help the Bear Capital fend off UKR Capital counter attack. Once again, the Bear Capital can respond by offering grain, oil, military technology, and foreign currency. First of all, food. Since Montana's North K is not rich in agricultural land, also North K is in desperate need of energy resources. So it will take any amount of sanks, uh, the bare oil and petroleum products. There you go. They're gonna get food. Hopefully uh, Kim doesn't eat it all. I'm kidding, kidding. All right, so. Amok in the Sleeping Giant, Britain and the West. The Sleeping Giant Nationals, you know who, spokeswoman, uh, called on North K in the op-ed in the NYT to stop, uh, to stop negotiation with the bear and honor in his public commitments. So Kim is saying, you giving me orders? <laughs> so, man. They will not reflect well on North K and will pay the price in, in the international, uh, international community. So the sleeping giants are putting their foot down on this one here. Unbelievable. National Security Advisor, I'm going to skip his name, said when asked during a press conference about active discussion between the bear and North K regarding with the surrender of arms, the transfer of arms from North K to the bear may constitute a violation of the U blank Security Council. Oh, like the sleeping giant has violated that. We have, of course, strengthened our sanks against entities that finance the bear war effort, and we will continue to strengthen those sanks, and we will not hesitate to impose new ones, the sleeping giant State Department told reporters. At the same time, the sleeping giant mother um, office also called on the leadership of North K to stop the negotiation allegedly underway with the bear. Concerned about the meeting taking place, the sleeping giant mother gov appealed to North K leadership to stop negotiation with the bear over arms supplies and fulfill North K previous commitments to stop arms supplies. Hmm. Now, I'm just going to skip some of this stuff here, guys, because uh, I did talk about this. The Sleeping Giants. Give me a second here. Norwegian media do not hide their fear. One of the largest Norwegian newspaper um, assesses the reapproachment between the bear and North K as a disaster. A board member of the Institute for Peace Research fears that the bear leader will help North K build nuclear power submarines. With this, they can, for example, reach the sleeping giant. This is truly devastating. I don't think it will be a lethal threat right away. But in the long run, the sleeping giant could take it as a threat and move into the Cape Peninsula. Of course, it will be very, very dangerous. Hold on. Let's stop here for a second. Sleeping giant just send a nuclear submarine to South K. The sleeping giant just send a nuclear submarine to South K. That's like so close to North K border. Mm. Once again, the collaboration between Kim and the bear leader is worrying. If the North K leader wants more than money, that could be scary. Well, what's scary is that the sleeping giant NATO is pouring a lot of money into UKR. About to take us to WW3. Does anyone really believe that a deal between the bear and North K won't happen? It is unlikely that Kim will go to this region just to talk and find out if an agreement could be reached. I think the deal is already done. It's just theater 
right now you're just having a good time enjoying lunch and dinner and that's where we are right now guys the sleeping giant nato uh telling them to stop negotiation as soon as possible But the sleeping giant, we are telling Mr. Burns and NATO, stop the biblical war. Stop sending all that. But they don't listen to us. Mr. Burns don't listen to us. We telling them 700 to Hawaii. Why? And Mr. Burns turns around and gives billions. You think Mr. Burns listened to us? If Mr. Burns uh, does that, then what goes around comes around. Guess what? The bear leader and Ken, they're not going to listen to Mr. Burns. They're not going to listen to NATO. They're not going to listen. Just like Mr. Burns, not listening to us. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give your life to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month page, uh, Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about in the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.